Hey there, so today I'm gonna to take you through how to draw a heart in 3D uh, on a piece of paper. Um, so you'll need some basic tools, a basic ruler. Um, I have some graphite pencils here. <clears throat> These are good because um, they'll allow you to use a uh, Weeble wipe, kind of like a cotton type of paper to, to kind of smear and smudge uh, the pencil itself to create some shadows. And I have some white pencils for some highlights near the end, some Prismacolors. So uh, let's get started here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use like a, a 2B pencil to get my heart, um, heart situated. And to begin, I'm just gonna draw a box. And I'm gonna, gonna draw this lightly. And if you have a, a ruler that has multiple edges, like a 90 degree corner, um, that'll help because you'll be able to um, get a little bit better of a 90 degree. I'm just kind of eyeballing the 90 degree um, corners here. So it's gonna be the foundation for my heart. And then if you draw a diagonal, we can find the center from each corner. That'll give us the center and then we can Draw a parallel line here, draw up there, so that'll be our center of our heart. Okay, so our heart will start somewhere around here, and we'll come up here and probably extend out a little bit from this box. So I'll draw in a couple lines, similar distance away on both sides. And if you do have any French curves at home, uh, something like that, you could use that to, um, you know, to get the right curve. It all depends on what kind of French curve you have and, and the type of positioning. Um, so you just draw this center line all the way down here so we know where the end point is, uh, half, of the, half of the heart. So uh, it depends how you like to draw hearts. You can start at the bottom or the top. I will kind of start over here and just, I'm gonna really press lightly here um, just so we can get um, a nice curve out here something something like that then get out here somewhere around here and you know the grip Depends on what kind of style you like, um, what kind of pencil you have, things like that. Um, you can also use like a photo blue pencil that will kind of hide some of the lines. So my uh, apex of this curve here is somewhere about there. So I'm gonna draw a horizontal line so that we, we have a similar point on this side here. And then, you know, about halfway over there. So, you know, just put some markers in there so that you, you kind of get a good idea so that this is more of a symmetrical heart.
you know, if you make some mistakes, that's all right. We'll just, you know, erase those. You'll pick the line that you like and erase the, the ones that you don't like. So I'm just gonna try to get these to match up a little bit better. Just like that. I'm kind of looking, you know, the amount of space I have over here in this corner of the square that I drew initially, trying to balance that out, trying to balance the amount of, um, you know, the curve. So that looks pretty good. So I like that sh basic shape here. There we go. Okay, so I'll take, uh, I have an ink, a uh, high tech uh, pilot uh, ink pen. So I kind of like these. Um, so this is gonna definitely, you know, you're gonna commit here. So then we'll go and erase some of these lines afterwards. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of trace this. this heart as best I can. Trying not to veer off too far. There we go. And then with the ink, you just have to be careful that you don't put your hand in, uh, over top of something that you just drew over because you will, you will smudge. So just have to be careful of that. I'm kind of anchoring my, my the palm of my hand here on the outside of that heart. I'm just, you know, always being cautious of where my hand is on the paper. There we go. So I'll erase some of these excess lines here. We don't need anymore. And if you're at home, you, you know, you, you could use a, a, a pen. It's a regular ballpoint pen if you want. Those tend to dry a little quicker than these ink, ink pens. And uh, depending on what kind of eraser you have, um, may or may not smudge as much. If it smudges, it's all right. It's not gonna be the end of the world. There's ways to kind of conceal, conceal some uh, mistakes along the way. <clears throat> Make sure you have a vacuum cleaner close by after you throw all your eraser shavings on the side of your, your workbench, your work table. Okay, <clears throat> so let's grab our ruler and let's make some horizontal lines over here to kind of simulate uh, a sheet of paper. And I'm gonna start um, <clears throat> kind of like halfway in the heart and we're gonna try to make these all, um, you know, parallel to each other. So don't draw anything inside of the heart because we're going to um, draw lines in perspective um, to give it that three-dimensional um, uh, effect that we want. So we're just gonna, you know, kind of space these out a decent amount. We don't need too many lines. You know, if you wanna be really technical, you can measure these all out just to make sure that they're exactly the same distance apart from each other or do what I'm doing and eyeball it. That's also acceptable. And 
in some ink pens you can see a little bit of smudging that just happened um, you know you could you could actually take this ruler because it's flush at the at the base here it's actually touching directly um, the paper so if you flip this over there's a little um, a little edge here that's tapered so if I flip that over on the back side that tapers on the on the back side of the ruler so you won't have any risk of um, any of that ink kind of being pulled underneath the ruler and being kind of sucked and, and smeared um, smeared below it as you kind of move your ruler around There we go, I'm just gonna kind of flip this over so I don't start smudging things as I go upward. I'm gonna kind of keep working in the path downward. So right here, you'll notice there's, you know, the two ends of the heart here, but also don't forget this center part here in between the heart there. Okay, almost finished here. Okay, so now we have our heart with some horizontal lines. And now what we wanna do is start taking some perspective lines and drawing them at almost like a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna take my ruler, just keep it upside down for now so I don't smudge anything. Um, so I'm gonna start around here, this one here, and just start making and these lines don't connect to the lines on the other side here. So the where this disappears does not have to line up with, with the other uh, side of this heart because these are all just kind of dr dropping into the, the void on how deep this heart is. And then as I get down here, I'm actually gonna change my angle and start, start pu pulling them in so there's like a vanishing point that's that's further down below. So these lines are not parallel. They're gonna to start to um, kind of curve in, in this path like that. As I draw these lines, they're gonna kind of come to a point way down. So just be cognizant of that as you start drawing your lines. So you can see they're, they're starting to kind of taper a little bit. There we go. And then let's finish up these ones here. So again, we'll still keep going. Now, this one's a little tricky one. So we're gonna take this edge of the heart. So this, this like point here. So that's actually gonna be um, a, um, we wanna draw this one in because this line here is gonna be hidden kind of behind. So we have a line right here.
and there. Okay, so we have our, all of our lines drawn in and lines of our paper and then these lines that are kind of going down into a, into a void. So the next step is to start adding some, some shading. So I'm gonna go with um, like a 6B or 8B, something really soft. Um, so I'll probably start with the 6B and I'm gonna start um, shading this lower crevice here um, and because this, this part of the heart, this section here, that's kind of its own section that's, that's coming out this way. So I have a, a surface that's coming down and then all of this is tucking under. So um, I'm gonna just start to um, kind of shade in here with, a, with this. And then we're gonna try to um, use a, like a Weaver wipe to kind of shade. Uh, and then um, we're gonna smudge with that, with this kind of cotton kind of material here. And remember your, your heart is, is kind of curved like this. So we wanna try to keep your, your shading um, almost so there's somewhat of a curve. So the deepest portion gets, gets pretty dark. Um, and then, you know, in this kind of a path here, um, there'll be a little bit lighter as we, as we get up to the edge of the heart. And don't worry if you kind of go, go over, um, we will erase, because this is just, just pencil work here. And we don't have to go all the way. To switch to the 8B to get a little bit more, more carbon graphite onto the paper. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this material here. Kind of fold that up. And then just start kind of smudging, trying to kind of blend this, blend this together. And it depends what kind of uh, pencil you're using and how much uh, graphite, how soft it is. So this one's not kind of blending amazingly. It's a little, um, you know, you'll have to use your, um, the weight of your, your hand to create the, the blending. So just remember, this is your darkest values down in here. And then as you kind of come up, we're gonna get kind of lighter and lighter. You know, so it's it's better to you know slowly build up your your values. Um, you know you don't want to commit too early, too dark too early, because uh, you definitely don't want to be um, trying to you know erase 
anything, it might start kind of being kind of an odd if you start erasing some of this. Um, you know, I'm gonna erase the outer edges, but if you start erasing inside, it's gonna, it may look a little, a little weird. So I'm pressing pretty firmly at this point down here. So I really want a little bit more to kind of show that that's really down, down in there. Not a lot of light is, is, uh, is coming in there. here just a little bit there we go it's starting to look pretty good just a little bit darker in this area. So I'm definitely pressing very, very firmly at this point down here. Okay, I think I kind of like that. Um, so before I erase the outside, I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this this portion. And on my eraser, if you have an X-Acto knife, you wanna get really crisp edges, you can go and kind of cut your eraser and you'll get like a nice edge. This is the default, you know, what the eraser came like. So I've been using this side here. It's gotten kind of like uh, blunt, but over here I still have a nice clean edge. So I'm just gonna go in there and get like a nice sharp, sharp, crisp. Crisp line. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now I'm going to darken this area over here. So right around, right around here. And then this is going to be my lighter side here. So similar to this area here where this is all a light value here and then it's it kind of goes dark down here we're going to have a lighter value over here and down as you go that way it's going to get a little a um, little darker less light um, showing up over there and we're going to keep this value lighter than this dark value here so something about somewhere around here about 50% um, of uh, shading. start smudging a bit, blending this in. So that 
starting to look pretty good. Just gonna kind of darken this just a little bit more, right in that corner where the black line, that edge, make sure that's nice and dark. darken this area up just a little bit more. I think it's not, not dark enough yet. You know, just trying to make this look as as good as we can. So it might take a little bit of back and forth, jumping from one side to another, just to kind of balance everything. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of go around my, around my heart. I'm just gonna go and and erase a little bit of this this edge here of the heart. And it kind of creates a little bit of a highlight. And that's why it's handy to have a exacto around because you start to get like a dirty edge. And you can go and slice that off and it starts off nice and clean. <clears throat> and then if you want, you can, you know, depending on what kind of paper you're using, you can get a little bit of a highlight edge here. Uh, for this one, it's not gonna really uh, show up too much, but we can use a, you can go in and use a black um, Prismacolor to kind of darken up some areas as well if you want.
So depending on what angle, we'll, we'll move the camera to show you, <clears throat> but depending on what, what angle you're, you're viewing this from, you'll, this will look like it's um, converging down into a, a deep space, look three-dimensional. Thanks for watching.